Yo, what's up everybody? You know I got a quote in one of my books, in my poetry book. It says, boys make babies then run. Women claim all men are dogs, but they were the ones who raised them. A lot of people don't like when I say that, but it is what it is. And you gotta understand, if a, if a guy don't know how to treat a girl, who fault is that? Who taught him how to treat? If a guy grew up in a single parent home, let me say that. If a boy grew up, grew up in a single parent home, who taught him how to treat women? TV or his mother? That's only when you can blame. If you don't have a father, you can't blame it on the father. That's what I said, boys make babies, then run. Women claim all men are dogs, but they were the ones who raised them. He, he, he don't know how to treat women, or he grew up acting like his mother. He grew up acting just like his mother. That's why you be seeing all these little boys with two earrings in the ear now. What? What is, it? I don't, what is the point of putting an earring in your ear? What are you saying? I don't understand what that means when you put an earring in your ear. People try to say African tribes do it. Yeah, well, they put a bone in your nose, too. And walk around with, with sandals all year. All year round. If you do that because they're African. Do it. People only take out bits and pieces of what they want to. And the rest they throw away. It's just like the Bible. They take bits and pieces of the Bible and the rest they ignore. Like Adam and Eve wasn't even married. You ever thought about that? They what were they marriage certificate? The back that I was saying is, boys learn how to treat women from their mother. From that, they learn it from TV, and they learn it from hearsay, and they learn it from the music now. But most people go into a relationship based on recommendation and chance. And all a guy wants, you know, when he's coming up, is he want a girl with a big butt. That's that's supposed to be the standard for. Uh, a nice girl, a girl with a big butt. They know, they don't worry about where her brain is at. They don't worry about where her mental, you know, her mental capacity is. They don't worry about that. But like I said, if you got a girl that know how to think, then y'all gonna be on the same page and everything will fall into place. But most guys, they're not thinking about that. Most women know what they want. Women, women want some sex and they want some money and they want some food to put in their stomach. All guys think about is sex. Now, a pimp or a player, he thinks about money. But most people go into a relationship and they don't want nothing. They don't they don't state what they want right then and there. So you could be dating somebody for four or five years and the relationship don't go nowhere. Who fault is that? Y'all didn't say what y'all wanted. You know, like, 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 you know, when you be talking to a girl and she, and she don't want to be bothered, she'll say, I got a boyfriend. And I always ask them, why you got a boyfriend? Why do you have a boyfriend? What do you, you know, what? That's, that's sex practice. That's all it is. Then you're gonna go from that boyfriend to the next boyfriend. Then from that boyfriend to the next boyfriend. Then that boyfriend to the next boyfriend. You might make a baby along the way. And then you have a baby daddy. But nobody goes into a relationship knowing what they want. It's all based on recommendation and chance. That's all it is. And then people think they're gonna meet somebody and they're gonna fall in love, like on TV. Like them comedy, with them, what they do, I forgot what they call them. Comedy love stories, where they, where they meet somebody, they fall in love with them, they break up, and then they marry them at the end. That's how, that's how people view, that's what people think gonna happen. They gonna fall in love, they gonna meet somebody and fall in love. And like I always tell you, if you got something, if there's something about your girl that you don't like, you gotta learn to live with it. Because she's not gonna change. And you nagging her is only going to make her resent you. Because you can't make her change. He can't, and you can't make him change. He's going to be the way he's going to be till the day he dies. He may stop doing certain things, but that, that's the way he, that's his, that's in his genetic makeup. You know, it took, he's been doing the same shit for 20 years, and it's going to take you 20 more years to stop him from doing the shit he's doing that you don't like. If he's sloppy, he's going to be sloppy till the day he dies. Unless, unless, you know, he, he works extra hard to make you happy and you because you don't like that sloppy shit. I hate sloppy women. That's a lot of women come outside and dress to the teeth. They be sharp. Go to their house and their house be junky as hell. Underwear on the shower. Eyeliner and shit all in the sink. Hair and weave hair in the sink. Hot girl of nine in the sink. All that shit be in the sink. Right next to the electric cord. And all it takes is for that shit to drop and start a fire. That's how 
I just, I hate that shit. Clean that shit up. But a lot of girls be getting dressed in a rush. And they rush so they gotta clean up later. Then you have some neat ones. You have neat men too. My brother's real neat. I'm not real neat. I'm neat, but I'm not super neat. I know some super neat people. But, you know, you can't change people. And you yelling at them ain't gonna change them. If it's a baby, different. That's the way the baby is brought up. But people think they're gonna do like on TV and they're gonna fall in love and live happily ever after. And then I hear all this stuff about a high value man and a high value woman. What is a high value man? You making you making half a million, you making a million dollars, a million dollars a year. Alright y'all, I just thought I'd bring that up. But I mean like most women are slicker than men because most women get schooled better. Most guys get taught how to be suckers from their mother. I tell you, they act like they act like their mother or they learn how to be suckers. And women are, are somewhat smarter because their mother teach them, their mother teach them what to do. Like I told you, a girl, if you meet a girl and she not she don't put and you know, y'all waiting, all she doing is going home and having sex with her ex-boyfriend. The guy that she's on bad terms with, she's in the process of breaking up with. She's still sleeping with him until she ready to sleep with the new guy. They know all this slick shit. I learned, I learned differently. I learned, you know, I was around, I used to box on 42nd Street, so I was around a lot of them hustlers and players and old guys. That's how I learned the shit I learned. Yep, that's how I learned the shit I learned.